at last my love has come along my lonely days are over and life is like a song mm, oh yeah at last The skies above are blue My heart's wrapped up in clover The night that I looked at you I found a dream That I could speak to I dreamed that I, I can call my own I found a thrill to press my cheek to a thrill that I had never known you smile you smile and then the spell was cast and here we are in heaven for you are mine last it's a lousy ending Jeez. oh well you know what First of all, it's a very stressful day. I'm super late on my video. I'm actually recording this on Tuesday because there was this holiday thing and pool swimming. Wait, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. Look at the sun, you guys. I got like sunburn. And um, there was a lot of time in pools. And so I didn't get my video uploaded yesterday, so I'm trying to do it today, but I'm super stressed out because I have to go load those monster cats of mine in cat carriers because they're going to the groomer. Okay, and Boji's gonna be really upset because it's so hot here and the cat door's in, so they wanna go on their catio and then he gets really hot and blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna take some of his fur off. I think that's okay. I asked the vet, she said yes. So anyway, and they got chipped the other day. They've gotten all their shots. My gosh, I should tell you that story. All right, but first of all, never mind all that. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy, I've already said that. Let's say it twice. And if this is your first time here, hey guys, welcome, so welcome, welcome, welcome. This channel is really growing right now, so I hope you'll consider subscribing. I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. I'm like a bad car wreck, and you just can't look away. You keep going like, wait, what? And yes, we do, oh, but every video starts with a song. I mess them up all the time, but when you're singing Etta James a cappella, come on, cut me some slack. And I don't wanna record it 15,000 times because I'm running out of time. So you get one shot, and there you go, that was it. All right, but anyway, it's still an amazing song. And let Mm, so pretty. All right, if you want to know anything about what we do on this channel, all you got to do is click down below, and it's going to tell you about the four uploads that I do every week, probably soon to be five, actually, because I'm going to add in Wild Wednesdays first, I think. Anyway, today you've landed on Totally Easy Tuesday, but all you really need to know about this channel is that everything is Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm. Dollar Tree, and do you know why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. And it's just way easier for me and for you. If I just go to one store, you know where you have to hunt for it and hopefully find it, right? So today is Totally Easy Tuesday, which means I have done crafts that even the non-crafter can do. Now, I'm not gonna remember what order they're on. Oh, maybe I, I might remember what order they're on on the film, on the video, whatever it is, yeah. So the first one is a hodgepodge too, you guys. Not really a theme. It was just uh, the pile of stuff that I knew was super easy and kind of wanted to get it done because I always have these bags full of stuff. So this very first one is one of those cathedral windows. Do you remember these? Actually, I'm still seeing them every once in a while. They pop up. Um, so this is a gray one. And I wanted to show you, I've outlined in black. Can you see in there? I really wanna show you guys this little detail. You see it on the film. And I, it's not perfect and it doesn't matter because it makes this whole thing look like it's a weathered, aged window. I outlined the sign that already came on there. This is the easiest thing. I took three screws off the back. I outlined it in some black and added a print from a coloring book. And now, I think this is a very, very cool piece. 
I didn't color the window, but you could, right? You could color this page and put it in there. I didn't because I really wanted to stick with the stark, the, the black and white. And I, I considered adding a cross onto it. I decided not to. But if you find that cathedral windows or stained glass church windows, as you'll see it in the video. It's a great book if you have some of these windows to do something like this with. The other thing is too, is I could actually put four of them together and because these pages are so thin, I think the light would shine through. Anyway, like to make a little lantern, but I like it just the way it is. And today is Totally Easy Tuesday. So remember, I'm always trying to keep it totally easy. Um, and then the next thing that I'm doing on this video is, Sharon Marcus, this is for you, pay attention. Sharon had requested that I do some bathroom shelf decor pieces that were black, yellow, and red. Ironically, my guest bathroom is black and red. So these will work in my bathroom. So thanks, Sharon. Um, although they're available for this week of stuff that you can win, this is available. All right, because I can remake this so simple. I want, look at this, you guys. How cute are these two little pieces? Such cute little decorative pieces. Here's what I love. They're made for the bathroom. These are pieces that are made for the bathroom because of course this is a soap dispenser, push one, and this is a soap holder. But we've just switched them up a little bit and given them a totally new look. I love this. It was so simple because today is totally easy Tuesday. So I love these. But here's the thing too. These come in all kinds of colors. I mean, you can get light blue. They have gray. They have white. They have, I think they even have a tan. And they have so many colors of their bathroom um, ceramic pieces that you could take any one of those and make something. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas. So this one, I, I did it this way, right? But you could purchase three of these, attach them with some twine or some or ribbon or something to make a hanging piece and just put some really colorful floral stickers on it, depending upon what the decor is in your bathroom. But these can be used for so many things. And because they're already made for the bathroom, you don't have to worry about, you know, the bathroom can be sort of a moist area. That's the worst word. The bathroom is moist. It's kind of a wet area. Also bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. The bathroom, people take showers in the bathroom, so there's a lot of do, you know? So when you can use pieces that are specifically made for that, it's great. Anyway, I love this. It's super, whoops, wrong way. I think this is super cute. So Sharon, I really hope this gives you some ideas for your bathroom decor shelf pieces. Just go into Dollar Tree, look for their bathroom accessory stuff and use your imagination. And if you ever want an idea on something, pick something up, send me a picture via Facebook Messenger. I will give you ideas or I'll go purchase it and make it on here for you. So I love those. I think they're absolutely perfect. I hope you, I really, look again, I hope you love them, Sharon. Please tell me you do. Okay, so that was a request, so I made those. Um, and then next was a piece that I talked about when I purchased these things, I'm like, totally going to make decor pieces out of them because they were dog toys. So this is what I made. Um, I actually, this is so cool. All right. So first of all, let me just start with these. And if you looked really closely, you could still see the orange in there a little bit. Do you see it? But that doesn't matter. I used, a, what are those brushes called? The ones that have all the different lengths. I can't think of them. Anyway, I used one of those brushes to really get inside. And there I can see a little bit of orange right there. Um, and I just used charcoal paint. This was orange and it was a dog toy. And this is such a cool decor piece now. Is it not? But then they had another one. By the way, this one was very, this one was like rope. And the one in here was like nylon. I'm going to pop it out of here. The nylon painted way easier, you guys. Just FYI. See the difference here though? These two together, right? If I had a third one, I could have had a set of three and maybe made it a gray or something. But anyway, um, the nylon paints a lot easier. But they, I mean, they painted fine. It was easy, but so cool. Well, then I they had this one that was like the three rings. It's actually, they, the, it goes long ways, the three rings. So I put them together. I twined them together and then put some faux leather on them. I think I say this in the video. If I was going to do it again, I wouldn't twine them. I'd re, I would just undo all three of the hinges and put them together at the same spot and wipe it, wrap it in the faux leather. It's fine though. It's still a cool piece. I love this because there's some mobility to this. So you can actually change the shape of this and have fun with it. You can either put the ball inside of it or don't put the ball inside of it and just have it at a core piece like this. But then I took another, and this one came the black and white like this, but then I took another one that was multicolored. You'll see in the video. I just take it apart. 
I do a corkscrew and, and a joint it and um, attach it to itself. And there's all kinds of ways that you can set this on a shelf. I took all of the seams and wrapped them with the faux leather. Look, do you see some of that shining through right there? I could go, I didn't go back and touch it up because I didn't need to, because it's gonna go on a shelf unless somebody wants it this week. And you would never, up on a shelf, you're not gonna see that there's this little spatters of color in there accidentally. Or I could just take a Sharpie and fill it in. I, it doesn't matter, it worked so amazing. This is one coat, okay? Dog toys. So now this whole set right here cost me $4. You guys, that's pretty incredible because you know these stinking little things like this are so expensive at the home stores. So $4 for some really cool boho decor shelf pieces. Then, um, I think this is next, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. You're going to see them all. I've been wanting to do one of these, and it's so simple. But again, today is totally easy Tuesday, right? Back up, you guys. If you don't have the faux leather on this, by the way, and you want to do something like this, might I suggest you just stick with twine. So go with black and twine and twine on your joints or wherever, okay? I had the faux leather, so I wanted to do that. But, and also, it doesn't matter what colors, like you could have painted this all black as well, because you could go totally with all black and twine. Just throw that out there. All right, so this piece, um, this was one of those little trinket trays that had a cactus in it, and I really wanted to and incorporate it into something like this. I just thought it was a cool, um, just to add a little porcelain piece in there. I might have risen it up a little bit, like I might have put it on another little riser inside of there, um, I didn't, but that's an option if you're going to. This is just one of the pots from one of the cactus picks. And I save all those, you know, because they're great risers. So now I love that this is black and this is clear. I really was, you know, if you guys think about it, I was totally on a black and white kind of theme this week, wasn't I? Yeah, look, I mean, we, yeah, I was doing that and everything, even with the bathroom decor. So, so simple because it was something that I saved. And then, you know, I love to use the coconut, um, stuff that they sell for the planters instead of the moss because the moss gets so messy. And I just threw some rocks in here and some picks. Here's the best thing about this. It's, I did glue down my porcelain cactus only because I live in Arizona. So I'm like, no matter what I do, I'm gonna want the cactus in there because I just think that's really cute. But this could be switched up so easily for any holiday. I can remove the cactus picks or I can leave them in there add one or two Christmas balls or a pumpkin or whatever. This is a centerpiece that you could use for the entire year and it's easy as can be. All right, so then I have two pieces left and I don't know which one is my favorite. Um, I don't know, I just can't decide, but I love them both. And they're, this one is not available by the way because I'm putting it up in my home. So this. Look, look, there's my dining room table. <laughs> hey, you guys want to know what's in front of me? This is what's in front of me. See, there's some of my craft supplies. Coffee. Always have coffee. And there's my iPad because I have to have the words. See, that? this is like literally what's in front of me. And then if you look forward, there's my there's my computer because I'm downloading stuff. There's the, the craft that I have to mail off. To, wait, I lost where I was. There's the craft I have to mail off. Um. Anyway, so this is what I see. Dining room table. Window, cat window is not, door is not open right now because cats are going to the groomer. Okay, those of you who don't watch my channel be like, what the heck was that? So this is just really cool. It's that, uh, it's so hard to do this because you guys are gonna get a reflection. So obviously it's the mirror and these are those galvanized houses that came on a stand. But I, what I want you guys to see is see how what, that one goes to the back and then I flipped it. So you end up with this dimension on the houses, which adds to the whole effect of this decor piece. Isn't it cool? That's so cool, so easy. I used the screws from the wood to screw, I mean, from the from the things, and it's got a hook on it, I don't even have to put anything to carry, I can hang it on off that. And it's light, it's super light. I love that piece, you guys, so easy. It's one mirror and six of those, of those um, um, galvanized houses or arrows or whatever. So this whole thing costs $7. That's a good buy. And it's a substantial piece of artwork for your wall. And then the last thing, which was what started this whole Totally Easy Tuesday, is this. So I can't decide if this is available or not because I should be giving it to somebody because it's so dang cute, but it's it's probably available. All right, and that's this. It's so cute. This is so easy. Okay, so they have these totes there. Everybody's been picking them up and they have these nice big handles. 
Now, this is faux ribbon, so it's the black, the silver, and the white. But what you guys, what I want you to know, this, the ribbon just barely fit in there, but it gave it just this perfect, like, well fit of the ribbon. And it's so easy. I just, just tacked it down on the inside. And I went a little ways in so that it would be less likely to rip up. Okay, so I made this Saturday morning and my guy was resting in bed because I get up earlier than him and just the thing. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll go just go do a craft. So I did this and I went into him and I hadn't done the handles yet. And I was like, what do you think? Because I love this tassel here. Just absolutely love the tassel. He's like, yeah, it's really cute, but aren't you going to wrap the handles? And I was like, yeah, duh. So it was his idea. He's really good actually at finishing touches. He'll go, yeah, but what about? And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So I wrapped the handles and that just, just popped this whole thing. This is so cute. Such a cute tote. Okay, guys, that's it. The rest is just video of me making these things so you guys can go and watch that if you want to. Thank you so much. I don't want to forget to remind everybody just of a few things. We still have the subscriber challenge going on. K-Mom has already sent me her pictures. So at the end of this video, there'll be a little thing on the subscriber channel if you would like to be part of that. We still have about a week left before you have to get me your um, your pictures. A week left? Less, yeah, a week left because I think it's till next Tuesday you have to give them to me. Yes. Anyway, um, and the way that you send me your photos for that is you join the Facebook page and you follow and then you send it to me a messenger. Okay, also, I'm still working on 750 subscribers. Called my little grandson the other day and I'm like, hey, I'm at 633. And he goes, yeah, but that's not 750. Okay, just give me a good job, Bella. I mean, come on, kid. Anyway, so I'm so close and I have literally like 12 days left to get to 750. And right now, I'm gonna check for you. Right now, I am at, is it 637? Something like that. Let's see, where's my channel? 637. So I have 100 and, let me do the math on that one, 50, 40, 113 to go. I can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Thank you so much for all of you that are trying to help me get there. All right. I hope you guys really enjoy the crafts. So everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. Um, I will see you back here on Thursday. There won't be a wild Wednesday this week, I don't think. Well, if there is, you won't know because I'm always just going to surprise you. Um, and uh, But it's been because of the holiday. I know I'm not going to get that in this week. But um, And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. You guys... Enjoy the video, and at the end of this, please let me know which one is your favorite. And if you're still listening to me right now, give me a hat emoji. Do you like my hat? Mm -hmm. Brand new, found it at the Goodwill. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Enjoy. super easy this is one of those you know I call them cathedral windows and this is a stained glass coloring book and so I'm gonna attempt to put one of the pictures in the back of it just to make it look like it has a stained glass window in it 
so easy and I think it just pops it up a little bit. So let's see how that goes. So first I take the window apart and there's three little screws in the back that you have to take off and then it comes apart super easily. Then I cut my coloring book page out and then I took the furniture marker and I outlined that sign that was in the center of it to give it some depth, which always works. And then I was looking, I was like, oh my gosh, I think painting the inside of the window frames would really pop the white behind it when I put the coloring book page in. So it took a little bit of work, um, but it, it sticks, by the way, the furniture marker works on, <coughs> excuse me, works on the plastic. And in a couple places I went over and I just took an eraser and tried to erase it out and it just kind of gave it this little aged. Um, it really, really worked. I could not believe what a difference it made in the piece when it was all said and done. And it just took, I mean, maybe five minutes or so to get in there and color all the insides. Just giving this piece of plastic some dimension. Just look right there, you can see the dimension already. And so after I was done with that, I put it over my coloring page, trying to, you know, get it centered just perfectly, trace it. And then when I cut it out, I've traced it, so I was trying to cut within the line so that it would fit in the frame. I tried it, it doesn't, I've got to cut it down some more. So I just did some trimming and trimming and trimming until I got it to fit in there perfectly. And then put the screws back in, put it all back together. And this came out so cute from a coloring book print, you guys. And a, and a furniture marker. Love it. Okay, for this one, I have the garden dish. I have this little trinket dish with a cactus on it. Um, some of the cactus picks, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use yet. And one of the cocoa liners for the planters, and I'm going to use those for the fill. And then this one of a cactus, I came out of here, I don't know which one now, anyway. Um, but I'm going to use this, I think, to make it a stand so that I can stand this up a little bit. And I think it'll be really cute. So, yeah, it's going to be cute. Let's start it. This one was so easy. So I took some Fix-All and some hot glue and I just centered that little pot that used to have a cactus in it in the middle for a stand. And then just took some of that coconut line. Oh, no, first I'm going to glue down our little trinket dish. I just thought this was cute to put that in the center of it. Then take some of the coconut liner. And what I didn't have out here, which I go and get, is rocks. I just forgot to have them out there. I knew I was gonna use them. So I start putting those in. I go get my rocks and start adding some rocks to it. Just being careful, you have to do it pretty evenly because now you've put it up on a stand, so you don't want it too heavy on one side. And then just started putting the, the my cactus picks in. It's just a fun, like super easy, uh, centerpiece and living in Arizona it's like a perfect kind of centerpiece so and it's so easy to take apart and change it up or make it seasonal so easy 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 love it okay for this one I have two bathroom items, um, a soap dispenser and a soap holder, but I'm going to make them decorative pieces for a bathroom shelf using colors requested. Um, and so I'm doing red, black, and yellow. So I have just, these are just pieces of greenery from my pieces of greenery stash. And these really pretty flowers that have some gold and sparkle on them, I really like it. And I think I might use some of my tile stickers. And just for good measure, in case I need it, the cotton twine in red, yellow, and black, and my ribbon in red, yellow, and black. And then I have some wire. This one isn't really a yellow, but it would work. And then this wire as well. So I think I'm also going to need a piece of um, the tumbling tower to go on here because I'm going to make this a standing up piece of art. 
And this one, I'm gonna make a beautiful decorative vase. So, let's see how this goes. So I started by taking the pump thing out of the soap dispenser and I'm just gonna take some of these tile stickers and the floral stickers and just give it a little design on the front just trying to stay within like the black and the red and the yellow theme but I know I'm gonna put yellow flowers in there so I'm more concentrating on the red. I took nail polish remover to wipe it all down with and then just picked three tiles to put on there just as a decorative little you know touch and I didn't really have a particular way or order or anything I just knew that I wanted to put three on there and then I picked up some flowers with the red and then one with the yellow and I really really love how this looked but then I need to cover up the part where the pump screws onto it so I grabbed the red floral wire and it's a beautiful red it's got shiny and obviously we've got you know a high gloss porcelain or whatever they are piece here and then the stickers are all really glossy and so having this nice bright shiny red wire was perfect for covering that up and I just wound it around and around and around until I got it covered up it was pretty decently it kept wanting to unwind I think eventually I snipped it and then twisted it within itself to keep it there and that's kind of what I'm doing here I just tucked it under one and got it to twist and then I just started adding my florals now again these are just extra florals that I have in my bin that's just like the florals like if I take something off of a pick then it you know goes into there and I kind of knew what I wanted I wanted smaller blooms obviously you can see there I'm not using any large flowers um, some airy greenery because I'm this is the idea is this for for a bathroom so um, just more airy I think is good and I just played with it until I got in there what I thought looked good and um, and then this piece was done and I absolutely love the way this came out and you can do it with any of these soap pump bottles so just super cute loved it and it was so easy and so inexpensive and there you go there's our little vase soap dispenser I did take one piece of greenery and I did hot glue that in just because I hot glued it because it didn't have like a little stem on it and I wanted it to kind of hang down. Perfect touch. Then I went on to our soap dish and so I start by using my furniture marker to cover these two little um, towering tumbling blocks. I'd throw one out. I'd use it up so I went and got a new one. And I decided to do this the long way height wise. So that's why I have two because I'm going to need two to hold it up. And um, again I clean it with the nail polish remover and then I just start putting the stickers on now what I'm doing on this one though is I want it to look like it's a vase like I want it to look like it's a it's a picture of a vase on there so there's no gap in between my stickers see that I'm putting three one right on top of the other and then I just started playing with the florals I put them down one way and I didn't really like that so then I put them down another way and, um, until I got them these stickers by the way are phenomenal their their adhesive is really great so I didn't like this here so I stopped end up taking it off and putting them back on um, and I think I use one less sticker the other thing is too is you could Mod Podge these if you wanted to I don't think it's really necessary um, if, if ever the stickers wear off you can always you know glue them back on but I think that um, these adhere pretty well and I think they'll be fine but you could anyway I end up with this and I love it and I always say you should do things in odd numbers so you notice I only ended up with three floral stickers on there and it looked better than when I had more. So then I'm just doing another block because I had to have two and then I glue it on and I used some of the Fix All adhesive stuff from Dollar Tree, some hot glue, joined those two together and then put them on the back side. But remember you guys I always tell you don't put them even with the bottom because you always need your pieces to lean back slightly. So again I do some of the Fix All, some hot glue, hold it there for a little bit and then we have the stand for it and these two are adorable I've got to be honest they came out way better than I thought they were going to this is something I would do again and it's readily available at the Dollar Tree all the time these bathroom things so then I cut off some greenery because I thought maybe I didn't like it so I didn't end up doing it I just left it with the stickers on it and I think it looks fantastic This 
one I have some dot toys and they just look like decorative pieces, but they're just sort of the wrong colors. So I'm going to attempt to paint these with chalkboard paint in the black. And then these, I'm going to um, get them into a shape that I like. And then I'll like bind it so it stays that shape and then I'll paint it the black. Don't know if this is gonna work. And then I brought all of the ribbons, the leather faux leather ribbons. There's one, two, three, there's seven colors. I think today I found a new color, that one. I, the gold somehow it wasn't, it was in my backups. Anyway, so I'm gonna see what we can, what decorative pieces we can make out of the dog toys. Let's try this. So I get out my chalk paint and I'm using my, oh, what are they called? Those chunky brushes that are all different. <laughs> Can't think of them right now. Anyway, it's like the stenciling brush, I think is what people use it for. But the advantage of them is they have all these different levels of bristles on the brush and so they get into all the crevices. And I just started painting everything black. And then I'm cutting off the plastic on these because it's so thick and... Um, and then I'm just going to use twine to put these in the order that I want them. I'm not going to paint the black and white ones because I think they look totally fine. I'm just going to try and make them look not like a dog toy. So I wind them with twine and then I take some leather and add it um, just outside of the twine just to like make it look less like a dog toy. Then I cut these off but this one I'm going to take the cords apart and make a new shape and so I just sort of like wind it in a in a coil like shape and then bring it back on itself so I add the there's three pieces add them together and then I just sort of brought it back on itself then I went back to painting and just getting into all the crevices as best I can this one was a little harder to paint I suppose you could paint them before putting them together. That might be easier. And once I have them all painted, I just start looking at them and I decide to add the white faux leather ribbon on the joints on the one that's sort of like the coil. The two balls came out perfect. They look amazing. Um, but in the end, I do take the one that I had put the jute twine on and I take the furniture marker and color it in the jute twine. I'm not sure I show you that. Um, and this is just unwrapping the joints with that white. So obviously we're stick sticking with the black and white theme. I did put one ball inside of the first one, the black and white one, black and white striped one. Um, put a ball inside of it. It looks really cool. I don't put a ball in this one. So technically I'm ending up with three decor pieces, which is a number I always like. And what I say? Everything in odds. Three, five, sevens, nines. Um, so, but you could put these out individually, not necessarily as a group. I happen to like them as a group. I think they're very boho. And they were dog toys. Like, how, how funny is that? And you can shape this thing however you want. Here I go. I take the furniture marker, and I decide to color in the jute twine. It just looked out of place. In hindsight, if I were going to tell you to do this, don't do the jute twine. Just glue them together and bind them with the faux leather ribbon. But I wasn't going to go back and undo that. It's fine if I put it on a shelf. Just put it in the way that I'm not going to see that as much. But I do make the mistakes, so I can tell you guys how to do it the right way. And also, I could have disconnected these and joined them all together there, and it would have been one single joint. But in the end, I love them. I did burn that twine a little bit after. I think they're really cute, and they were all from Dog Toys. Come on, you guys. How stinking cute. Where's our, where's, there we go. There's the whole trio. See, I put one in. There you go. Okay, so for this one, I have this mirror. And then <clears throat> these... Oops, it's just a hex gun shape mirror. So I'm probably, let's see, it's, it lays pretty flat, so I think I'm okay. But then I have these galvanized like house shapes or arrows, however you want to see them. I'm going to take them all off of their bases 
So first I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna make a really cool candle centerpiece thing. So, so easy, but it's gonna look really cool. So first I'm just gonna get, remove these all from their base. And then we're gonna hold on to these pieces because these are good pieces of wood to use to make something else. So I take them all off and I lay them on the mirror and I decide, oh my gosh, this looks so cool, forget the candle holder centerpiece. And so I just use the screws that I had taken the bases off with and I just start screwing the houses in. But what I did was alternate. So they were, you know, uh, they're not at the same level. Um, and I flipped it over with screwing and then flipped it over and would screw one of the houses in. So they were opposing which way the lip went. And this ended up just a really cool, funky piece and so extraordinarily easy. I would have been great as a candle maker too, or candle holder too, but I like this. So for this craft, I have this tote, which they're really nice and they have these very large handles on them. And we're just gonna upscale it just a little bit. So I have some white faux ribbon, some silver faux ribbon, and black. I just have a piece of the black and I'm hoping that that's gonna be long enough. So I'm gonna weave a black, a silver, and a white piece of leather through here and really pop this tote up. Let's go. I wove the black up and I tacked it on the bottom with some tacky glue at first and I tried to hold that and eventually I added some hot glue to that to help hold it down. And just weaving it up and tacking it over the top. So obviously I start with the ribbon in and then in and out and so then it, it ends up going over the top and I'm just tacking it with some tacky glue and then putting a clamp on it. And then I did end up adding a little bit of hot glue. So the, the ribbon is slightly wider than what you're weaving through, but it, it works and it looks really, really good. And then I decided that I was going to make a tassel. So I just started cutting about the length and then I was cutting each cut length into five little strips to make um, a little faux leather tassel. So once I had those done, I folded it in half and I knotted it with one of the pieces so that I had the middle and then took a piece to make for the handle, put it in there, and then rubber band where I was going to wrap the ribbon for the center part of the tassel. And then I had this little hook that was left over from a flamingo thing that I did, trimmed up the tassel, put it on there, hooked it on there. I finally found a way to hook it on that worked. Took a couple of attempts. And then sort of glued the knot over it so you couldn't see the little clippy thing. And then I wrapped the handles in the faux black. I did, I did have another roll of the faux black. So it looked really good. I'm just measuring there to make sure that I have that leather at the same length on both sides. And voila, it's all done. And this is the cutest tote.
subscribers rules for our patriotic craft challenge buy the five items listed here and you are only allowed to use three other things to complete this like your glue gun or twine or whatever and you must have this craft completed and the picture sent to me by tuesday july 12th send it to my facebook that's linked down below in the description box no winners just fun